It provides shelter from the rain, protection from the sun, and for the stylish at heart is a chic fashion accessory. The umbrella originated in ancient China some 1700 years ago. Since then, it's evolved from the original parasol to the modern-day collapsible canopy that pops up all over in wet weather. Unlike mass-produced models, this quality umbrella is meticulously handcrafted. The shaft is made of birch wood, which the artisan stains to match the umbrella's handle. He trims down the diameter of the shaft so it will fit perfectly into the handle. After buffing the handle to a shine, he glues it onto the shaft. The artisan forms two springs from wire made of nickel silver, a type of metal that can withstand extreme tension. He bends one end of the wire into a triangular shape and hammers it flat to ensure a perfect fit in the shaft. He cuts two slots in the shaft, one at the top and one at the bottom. Then he pierces a hole in each slot where the spring will hook into it. With a bit of stain, he hides the exposed wood. For the umbrella to open and close easily, the springs must fit snugly. So he makes a right angle bend at each end of the spring. That shape sets the correct tension. With a tap of the hammer, the spring now rests firmly inside the slot. After trimming the spring, he purposely overbends, then corrects it to ensure the perfect shape. A small pin prevents the spring from opening fully, holding it inside the shaft. This brass runner is what you slide up the shaft to open the umbrella. A stop pin limits the runner's travel, preventing the canopy from blowing inside out. He fits a length of tying wire around a slot in the runner, then threads the canopy's eight ribs onto the tying wire. The ribs are made of a type of steel that's strong yet flexible, so they curve into a domed shape when you open the umbrella, then straighten out again when you close it. He wires the ribs other ends to what's called a notch. Once wired into the notch's opening, the ribs rest just below the handle line. At the spot where the notch will sit on the shaft, he drills a hole for the pinning wire that holds it in place. They cut eight triangular-shaped panels, called gores, from durable nylon. They attach a label, then assemble the canopy by sewing all eight gores together. A worker now inserts eight metal tips onto the horizontal mandrel of this machine. It wraps fabric around each tip, then stitches them to eight locations inside the canopy. These smaller pieces of fabric, called prevents, stop the canopy from chafing against the frame. This decorative rosette hides the point at which the runner and ribs meet. Next, they drape the canopy over the shaft and hand sew it tightly over the notch. They attach a tip over the end of each rib, then align each rib with a canopy seam. After checking the fabric for imperfections, a worker secures the ribs in position by sewing them to their respective seams. They roll up the umbrella to check that the fastening button and band attached earlier are where they should be. They finish off the umbrella by jamming a decorative ring over the notch. Then they crown the top of the shaft with a ferrule, a brass cap with a protective steel tip. This company embellishes its shafts with a silver-plated band, ideal for engraving the owner's initials. After a quick wash, they iron the canopy for a neat, crisp finish. The final touch is a matching cover, one you can slide off in an instant if you're caught in a sudden shower.